Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create a zoom effect in PowerPoint presentation, or in other words, how do we turn a PowerPoint presentation into like a Prezi presentation? Now, before we go ahead and do that, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. Now, if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and while you're at it, why not consider sharing? Just so as you can share, the share it around and let other people benefit from what you're learning here. Okay, guys, uh, let's head on over and do it now. Welcome back. In this part of the video, we're going to be having a look at how to turn this into a zoom effect. So let's get straight into it. Now what we need to do is we need to firstly go straight across to the insert section. Now, first thing you need to make sure you have is all of your cover slides set up, ready to go. I always make sure that when I create my courses, that I, if I'm creating a PowerPoint course, I always make sure I keep my cover, my cover courses or my cover pages all in the one PowerPoint slide. This way I can just record it all in one sitting and this way it can be done very, very quickly. And I'm, I'm all into speed. So what I'm going to do is I want you to go to insert and over here in the middle of the tab, you'll see where it says zoom. So I'm going to click on that and we go to zoom summary and let that come up. Now what we need to do is we make sure that we all the cover slides that we just mentioned, we just click on only the cover slides, nothing else. And through doing that, we're actually selecting the slides we want to be able to turn into a zoom effect. And this will make it really, really interesting for your audience. And then all we have to do is hit insert and that brings this up like this. Now I'm gonna get rid of this box here that's completely unnecessary. I'm gonna click inside here and drag this box up just a little bit so as it makes it centralized. There we are. Now that we have that, now I'm gonna now click on the first one and then I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to click on all of these and this way it will highlight them all. Now the next thing I want to do is because I've highlighted them all that will bring up the zoom tab just here. I'm going to click on that. Now I can, I've got lots of different options I can do here. I can turn it like that. I can do this. Or I, can, I can do all sorts of you know, fun things with this if I wish to. Now I think I might just try this one here. I might turn it into a button. So what I need to do now is go over here to zoom effect and I'm thinking what I might do is go over here to this one and maybe turn it into where it says preset. You go here and click on that one there. Now I might also go down here to beveled effect and from here I can choose the different kinds of bevels. Now I don't mind that one. That's all right. I just want to find one which is interesting make it look like one that you want to push. There we go. It's looking nice. I think I think that one there makes it look like a button you might want to push. So I'm going to click on that. And now we have buttons that are ready to go. Now all we need to do is go to our animation slideshow. Now I've already got just to let you know I already have some transitions added to these. Um, I've got some tra I've got a um, let me have a look at what it's called. This particular one is called, if I can bring it up. There we are. Oops, go to transitions. This particular one is wind. That's right, I, I'm using the wind effect in this one. Now let me just show you what this looks like from the be beginning of the slideshow. Now always start this one from the beginning. Now what you need to do is you just hit the downward arrow and it will take you straight across to this slide as you can see I've animated it and then I'm just going to have that fly away and do the introduction and I'm talking about the various videos that it has and then I'll go through and do that and then once it's finished that particular slide it zooms back out and then takes you back to this page and all you need to do is continue scrolling down it allows you to go do your video slides and allows you to do this and then once it is finished, it will take you back to that screen again. And as you can see, it takes it across and it is just a lovely, lovely effect. 
and the best part about it is it's really really easy and simple to do now just wait for this to do its thing we'll go back to where it was it is that simple and that easy so all right if you like this video please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos guys and also while you're at it consider sharing this way other people can get the benefit of this video too okay guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye for now